Sam watches a new released hacking movie. He realizes he always had a passion for hacking, but he never started it. Sam turns on his laptop in rush and searches how to become a hacker. He finds tons of content and guides and he gets confused. But in time, he finally clicks on this video. You came to right place Sam. This video is absolutely for you. With so much content on the internet, anybody can learn any skill they want. But it can be overwhelming for some. Hi, my name is Pranam and I help young men from Sam to hacker transformation. Now there are three types of hackers. Uh, you already know this. Now what I think of hacking is, it is a proper mindset. With proper knowledge, you can become a hacker. Take for example a gun. The character or person is decided by how he uses that gun. If you give this gun to a policeman, he will probably use it to protect you. But if you give it to a thief, he will probably rob you or even kill you. Think of hacking as a tool, a power that you can use to protect someone or to rob someone. It is up to you to decide what you use it for. Now, how do you develop this power? By progressively overloading. You might have heard, that, heard of this term in the gym where you start with the small weights and then gradually increase the weights resulting you to gain more muscle. The same principle goes here. You need to start from the bottom and gradually increase the levels till you reach the top. So what is the most basic level? It's computer networking. It is the most important part of learning hacking. You need to learn how devices work and how they communicate over the internet. Also learning how DSCP works, how SSH works, how other communication protocols work in networking. Once you gain the good grasp of how networking works, you can start learning how the security aspects of these things work. The one resource you should use is TrackMe. You should start with very basics like walkthrough videos on track me when you get comfortable with the basics you can try solving ctfs and you continue doing progressive overload and learn new things such as new cyber attacks new networking stuff new new networking concepts now listen to this you don't expect to be spoon feeded when you see an error and when you are stuck solving a ctf no one is going to help you. You are not mommy's little boy anymore. What you need to do is you go on the internet and you research everything regarding that topic. Don't read walkthroughs after just 5 minutes of researching. Just keep on trying with the hacker's mindset. Once you feel you are at the point or you are at the top 1 or 2% on track me, try solving rooms on hack the box and do the same progressive overloading there as well. Keep practicing, keep failing, keep learning, keep researching. When you are at the point where you can call yourself somewhat a decent hacker, start preparing for OSCP exams. OSCP exams are known as the hardest exams that you can try. This certification will give you a lot of credibility and the success in life. But you don't stop here as well. You keep on learning, breaking and modifying stuff and progressively overloading yourself with the knowledge. Now, once you have a good grasp over the networking concepts, you can try learning how Active Directory works, how LDAP server works, how these communication protocols works, how brute forcing works. And once you get a better understanding of these concepts, you go to learn the WAPT concepts, the VAPT concepts. You can do some web application penetration testing. It will give you a good understanding of how the system works and how the web application works, how the how the web application interacts with the server. You can try to learn those things. You can try to learn how man in the middle attacks works. You can try to learn how wireless security works. Also, don't forget to 
progressively overload you need to pick one subject and stick to it once you pick a subject you start from the bottom you start from the basics concepts of this subject and you progressively overload yourself to learn and to get at the top like to get a good understanding of this subject once you get a good understanding of this subject you move on to the next subject you move on to the next topic that you want to learn there is this one concept that i like is that hacking is being a master of all the trades not a single trade you need to become a master of all the trades you need to know all the areas of hacking the areas of networking you need to, you need to explore linux you need to explore how web applications work you need to learn how api interacts with the web application and the server you need to learn those things this is how you can become a hacker if you like this video please subscribe to get more like this